What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the garage today, as you can see, doing a little something here that I wasn't even planning on doing a video, but I feel terrible this week. I've had a doggone cold for the last three days, so I didn't go out looking at any ammo, and I ain't hitting the range feeling like this, but I've got some range videos already done. Don't fret that. They're coming tomorrow, but since I ain't doing no ammo hunt video today, I actually picked up this little goat gun here. I'm sure y'all probably seen these things on other people's videos of them putting them together. Most people that you see with them, they're affiliates and just promoting them or whatever but I don't have any affiliation at all with these. I've watched several of these little videos and I always thought they were neat. So I actually ordered this and what I've got here is their black and white bull pup. It's basically the Steyr Aug, but they just call it the bull pup because of trademark issues and all that jazz. But anyway, I was getting ready to put this thing together and I figured I might as well make a video. Some of y'all might want to check it out. So like I say, you got the model itself there, the Steyr Aug. I also picked up a few little accessories here. As far as price wise, that was $29.99. Now they've got a bunch of different models. Some of them are more than that i think this is actually the least expensive one that ain't why i got it but anyway that's just what it ended up being and then the little accessories here i think the little accessories are kind of expensive i got a little ammo can here that was 10 bucks the little acog here was eight bucks and then the lpvo was 10 bucks i'm not sure which one of these i'm gonna put on it yet so let's open it up and see what we got going here all right so what we got here is your little assembly guide here there's not but a handful of steps so not a whole lot to it uh you got a couple stickers there a little goat gun sticker and a sticker of the actual AUG here. They call it the ounce. Apparently the ounce is the name of some kind of famous snow leopard or something I was reading on their site. So a couple little neat stickers there. A uh, little thanks for your order, blah, 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 sign up for stuff. And then here is Sarge scratch to reveal and the whole entire back of this is a, is a scratch here. So I'm assuming that's some kind of discount code. Nah, I was wrong there. I just scratched it off. It's just some kind of goofy picture here. Got the goat gun Sarge there punching some kind of donkey there. So <laughs> tough Sarge is all it says. I don't know what that was all about. And then as far as the parts itself, you got a hardware kit here with a little screwdriver, a few screws and the uh, front sling swivel there. Then and of course you got the actual stock the body of the styre there now this is plastic which is the same as the real thing but i believe yeah all the little pieces like that are die cast the triggers die cast your little sw uh, sling studs there so die cast parts on the plastic stock you got a little display base here to put it on that's actual die cast there so nice little weight to that uh your magazine here waffle mag black waffle mag so that's pretty cool that's actually die cast also your vertical grip here it's uh plastic should be yeah plastic just like the real thing and then your receiver here it looks like it's in two parts this one's got the barrel on it so that's die cast and then the other half of the receiver here that's die cast also of course and then here you got your pick rail for the top and then uh the charging handle here if i can get it out both of these die cast also and then the last thing is a few little uh, brass dummy rounds. These are actually brass, so three little brass dummy rounds. All right, I took a quick glance at the assembly guide here. This thing looks very simple. Uh, some of the other ones look a little bit more involved as far as putting them together, but they all look very simple. That may be this why this one was the cheapest one. But anyway, you take this half of the receiver here. You take your pick rail here. You're going to put it on the top on these little nubs that they got sticking up. So we got that attached, and then it tells you to go ahead and put the charging handle in here, just kind of slide it in here like this there you go there simple as can be uh take your front sling swivel here that slides into a slot right there that just sits in there for the time being i guess hopefully that won't fall out and then your vertical grip do the same thing you got little pegs coming off the vertical grip and little holes in both sides of the receiver so that just kind of press fits in there for now so you got all that set up it's a little tricky you don't want to let this thing fall out or that fall out then you just take the other half of your receiver and, and sandwich it down basically so there you go with it sandwiched together once you get it kind of smashed together it holds there until you can put the three screws in the holes there so just put it the three screws with your little handy dandy screwdriver they give you and there's your receiver and barrel assembly ready to roll charging handle inside you can lock it back push it forward and then from there it looks like all you do is put these two pieces together and then there's your snap there you got a release button here if you need to take it back apart for whatever reason so that's all there is to it as you can see spring loaded operating charging handle pretty neat little deal there it'll even lock back and then you can knock it back forward and then as far as your magazine you can actually load your little brass dummy rounds into it now these don't function they don't fire or anything like that they don't even cycle into action but it is pretty neat that you can load them up in the mag like that and then of course you can insert your mag there 
just like that clicks in there's your mag release right there so that's actually pretty cool like i say it doesn't cycle around or anything but you can see opens up the chamber and everything so that's pretty neat and then as far as the little accessories like i say we got a little ammo can here die cast metal on that got the handle i believe it's actually functional yeah it actually actually functional and everything that's pretty cool it's got a nice little thick enamel coating on it enamel paint job on it so that's actually pretty neat like i say look pretty expensive 10 bucks for this little thing but all these little miniature stuff if anybody's ever messed with this stuff it's all pretty expensive and then we got the lpvo here they call it the tactical scope it actually comes with another little screwdriver a flathead this time that's die cast as well and you can actually see through it it's got little lenses on both sides now it's not magnified doesn't really function but you can see through it all of these mounts and everything though you can actually take this out of the mounts and everything so really detailed and I think even this cap comes off. Yeah, your little turret caps come off and everything. So pretty cool little details on this stuff. And then the other one, like I said, is a little ACOG here. Now, it doesn't come with a screwdriver because it's got the thumb screws on it. I'm not sure. Yeah, this one's got the little lenses in it too. It's even got, I mean, it's really, really detailed. You got the backup irons on the top of the little ACOG and everything. So I'm not sure which one I want on it that one there the acog or the lpvo there i'm not sure let's put both of them on and check it out so there it is with the acog i kind of like that it looks pretty nice well never mind about that the lpvo actually won't fit on here the the uh pick rail size or the slot sizes on these mounts they are too big for this rail on their website it does tell you which ones fit which models and this one did not say it would fit that so i don't you know that's on me and that's why i got two of them because this one said it would fit and this one wouldn't so i knew i'd be good one way or the other but honestly i'm liking this thing though you got your little stand here i believe that just goes on on the back here maybe yeah that's all it is the two little pegs there you got a hole in the back of the stock and then a hole on the bottom of the mag so pretty nice little unit here this definitely won't go to waste because i think these are pretty cool and cool enough that i'm gonna get a couple more of them probably i've got my eyes on one already because of a new tool i'm getting in it'll match that uh and like i said there was a reason that i got this one hint hint as you can see here but we'll get to that later on and since i didn't give y'all an ammo video this week i'll give you one more little sneak peek of something i did get on order already some of these psa sabers these blade black tip 62 grain 556 so got some of them to test and i've got several other things that i got in on order but i'm gonna roll it into the video next week but that's it for this one if y'all did enjoy this little quick video reach down and hit that thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you've got your notifications turned on so you don't miss anything when i upload it check out those affiliate links in the video description any Thing you buy after going through any of those links i get a kickback from them towards the channel so i really appreciate that as far as the goat guns like i said i don't have any kind of affiliate link or anything i'm not getting paid this wasn't given to me but i will leave a link down there if y'all want to check them out like i always tell you i appreciate all my range gang members and every one of y'all for supporting the channel like y'all do i'm probably not going to get back out to the range until the first of this coming week maybe over the weekend depending on how i feel but like i said don't fret i've already got some videos done for this weekend so y'all be seeing those tons more good stuff headed y'all's way so be on the lookout for it and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon